This is your Friday Refresh brought to you by Liberté Ministries. Visit TravisLovesHaiti.com to find out how you can supply Bibles to those who long to read the Word of God and learn more through a visit to your church. Here in the South, cool breezes are starting to blow, leaves are starting to fall, and holiday songs have started filling the air. There will be plenty of Christmas decorations going up and holiday movies being watched on TV. Kids and adults around the country are starting to figure out what they want for Christmas, and retail stores are amping up, and advertisements for all the things that you want and need are already coming through loud and clear. The desire for more things is almost insatiable at times. But don't forget the holiday we celebrate this month. It stands, in my opinion, in stark contrast to the holidays that come after. Thanksgiving is not about consuming, but about appreciating. It's not about rushing about, it's about slowing down. It's not about receiving more of what we don't have, but giving thanks for what we do have. And what has been proven is that people who are thankful tend to be more happy and more content with life. Why? Because you are looking for the positive. It is my experience that you will see what you are looking for. If you don't believe me, think about this. Have you ever bought a new car and thought that it's the coolest and most unique car and then you start seeing them everywhere? It wasn't that they weren't there before, you just were sensitive to them now and you're seeing them everywhere. When you look for negative things, you're likely to find them. When you look for positive things, then they will be seen. Being thankful wires our brain to look for the things for which to be thankful. Even finding ways to be appreciative for the battles and grateful for the inconveniences. Those things don't get better with complaining, but through a redirecting and thankful heart, they could find ways to turn a bad situation into a blessing. So let me encourage you not to skip over the holiday of turkey and dressing. Don't be so quick to rush into the trap of consumerism and desire for more. Take the time to appreciate what you have, who you have, where you live, and the God that gave all those blessings to you. Frank A. Clark said, If a fellow isn't thankful for what he's got, he isn't likely to be thankful for what he's going to get. So as cool weather gets cooler and atmosphere gets more festive, pause a moment, think for a moment about all that you have for which to be thankful. I'll start. It's you. I'm thankful for you. For those of you who listen to this podcast and the others that Travis and I throw your way, on occasion, I'm thankful for the kind words that you give us and the encouragement that pushes us to keep moving forward with these messages of hope for you and for others. And so as the Apostle Paul said to the Philippians, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. And that is your Friday Refresh.